Hi fellas, we're back. Uh, we've worked on the mill pretty well all day. Figured out some tool heists you've seen in the previous video. Um, we uh, made a new Y Gib spacer. <laughs> it took a little while to get it made and we finally got it shimmed correctly. And the table's nice and tight now. Um, hopefully we're gonna run about a two inch circle at 100 inches a minute with about a 2000 RPM. Uh, spindle speed. We're going to try to cut 50 thousandths deep But first we're going to kind of show you how we come up with our tool height and setting zero with our Heimer I don't know if you can see it in the video Probably not, but I've got a little bitty X scribe down there just for rough center uh, Scribed it out with a tape measure. I mean it doesn't have to be perfect. We just want to make sure that we didn't hit the vise So uh, we're going to go ahead and I'll get the MPG wheel here uh, we'll set it up here on the vise real quick and uh, we'll I don't know if you can see it there but uh, I'm gonna flip it over to the Z and we're on 1x and we're gonna go ahead and set the height for zero you can see about one click is four thousandths on the MPG which is kind of a little bit of a pain because you can never get true zero real easy. So, so there it went past. One click is, looks like one clicks is under, one clicks over. So we're going to set it for one thousandths under. We don't care about the whole depth if it's accurate, super accurate at the moment. So uh, there's our Heimer. It's zeroed. We're going to go over here to the screen so you can see. Uh, here we go. Uh, we're gonna zero the Z. There, Z is zeroed now, and we're on the X and the Y, so we're gonna zero all the coordinates. Then we're gonna jog down, jog the spindle up. You got a way you got to look at it. Is uh, most spindles uh, jog up? So uh, go ahead, Brian. We'll uh, we'll just use the fast jog there real quick. So now we're going to, we had uh, also, the, here's one thing you might want to look at, is on the tool, we're in tool zero, which is the Heimer, and if you go to F4, which is our tools, you can see our offset is 6.808, and we measured that over here on the, uh, on the uh, Z block, on the, uh, the height gauge with the block there. And we entered that into our tool offsets. So the next one, we're going to run tool one, which is the half inch four flute end mill. And this is the end mill we're going to run right here. So that's got a difference in offset of two inches and 27 thousandths, I think, if I remember right. So as soon as we put that in, this is going to change over and it'll hopefully not crash. We haven't proven it by running it, but we've checked all of them today, and it seems to be pretty accurate on working. So we'll go ahead and I'll pull the Heimer out. Sorry about the hooking it back onto the tripod here. A little bit fuzzy. I'm going to pull the Heimer out, and we'll see if we can run some. All right. We're going to try not to drop the Heimer because, well, them tips get expensive quick. So we put the TTS call it system on it. Got it all set up there the same as everything else for right now. All right. Well, here's the the four flute end mill. All right. Okay. Now, over on the screen, we're going to go to the uh, to the run application here. Sorry, I'm still getting used to this gimbal. Um, we're going to go to the run of the application, and the first thing it wants us to do it'll be is to do a tool change, and then it's going to start the spindle. The tool's already been changed, so we're going to go and okay that, and hopefully it'll take off and be okay. So... Here we go. Bear with me again on the tripod. I'm sorry. Uh. 
Okay, we're gonna go ahead and hit uh, control, control S for control start. It wants to know what line we're gonna start from and we're gonna start from line zero. And now, now it's asking for the tool change. Sorry, I tried. should have got all this on there, but it happened so fast. All right, here we go. The spindle is a lot quieter, so hopefully we can hear everything. We're going to stay on the e-stop just in case. This program was made with the uh, wizard. The uh, wizard that's actually on the uh, wow, that's a way bigger hole than I thought it was going to be. Well, anyway, it didn't crash, so we got the tool heist right. it would have been a lot better um, we didn't have the computer up or the time to do it this evening so we just used the wizard on the masso the masso will not do step over it will only do full width of cup we are making the shavings fly there see that in the video We galled it up. We should have uh, got some lube on there. Wasn't thinking. Uh, the spindle is stopped. The drives are stopped. We'll jog it back out and try again. But uh, it looks to be working okay. I should have got some lube on there. Wasn't thinking. Did that the last time. All right. Well, we'll come back to you here in just a minute. All right, guys. We're back. We're going to restart the program. Uh, we spent a little bit of time checking stuff. We thought we had bent the tool and the holder, um, but actually we didn't. We pulled it out of the collet, reseated it, and it's uh, actually still turning pretty round. So we got it loaded up with WD-40. I wasn't thinking. I should have had it out and using it anyway. That's why I bought the Mega Can uh, just to run aluminum. So All right, well, we're going to try it again to finish this hole. Then we're going to come back and run a two inch hole and we want to check them both for size. Of course, you know, we lost the Y axis when we broke through the side of the metal. So we're going to run this one and uh, see how it goes. All right. Well, I'm glad that uh, we may need to change that ramp time to the drive down to a smaller time because it would have hit the metal before. And we may not be exactly in center, so we may end up milling just a little bit here and there. We're gonna mill a little air until we get back down to where we go. Like I say, we're still learning.
think we'll have like one or two more passes before we get back to actually doing something. I don't know if the Masso guys will see this, but uh, how about some step over stuff uh, instead of doing full cut with on your wizards? We'd really like to see some step over adjustment. that time I guess I can quit spraying WD now well anyway we did have something off of camera happen to us that was kind of uh, a little hairy scary we e-stopped the Masso and it did not stop um, not sure exactly what glitch had happened but the drives we I accidentally left the spindle in neutral and uh, the drives took off we pretty well panicked um, we wasn't sure what to do with it. We finally figured out if we just powered the thing off, it quit running. So, well, there's that hole. We're going to set up a wizard real quick to come back and punch a two-inch hole through a new piece. Uh, and then, uh, that'll be the last cut. We're going to set it up for, uh, probably the, about the same speed, uh, with a two-inch hole. All right, we'll be back in a few.